So one of my most popular videos for FM23 was this right here, the 20,000 face pack including the new gun tutorial. The new gun basically is once you've got all the faces done, you can generate all the faces and change all the faces as a cluster, as a group in talking hundreds and thousands of faces in one go. Last year it was 20,000. I'm still using the view from the touchline pack, but I'm also using FM Rock and Rollers 36,000 face pack. And then with the original view from the touchline face pack, which is now up to 80,000, we're talking 120,000 regens that we can get into your game. There's a few downloads, there's a fair few steps. Once you get the hang of it the first time, year on year, you can then add as the regens come through, the new gens come through, you can keep adding. Okay, so this is Paul, my superstar in my Malaga save, left back, 18 years old. Okay, so let's change it from this to this. All right, guys, smash a like on today's video. I will put any pinned comments as well, changes that, that, that I made. The new GAN tool has changed for FM24, so this only works for FM24. And if you're on FM23 and earlier, you need to use the 20,000 one. I will leave the original link to that video down in the comments. But FM24, here we go. Right, the first thing we're gonna do is head over to view from the touchline. That is the first link in the video. And on this page down at the bottom, this is, by the way, view from the touchline. They do have a Twitter account, loads of tactic stuff, but Paul has joined the team. Incredible design work, creative work. And he's over time with his community has put in this monster face pack. Now, back in the day when I did the video, I think we did that one last year. This time, it's this mega pack download. When they do uploads, so when there's update pack 12, all you'll need to do is download the 12 and then copy and paste, cut and paste it into that folder. Now, what I will say is, so all you need to do is click on the link, you get the media file, press download. Once that's done, you'll need to extract it using something like 7-zip. If you've downloaded face packs and stuff before, use 7-zip. I will leave a link down that in the description. You extract it. And then once it's extracted, you need to put it in your Football Manager 2024 folder into graphics, and then it will look like that. It will come up FM, new gens, you put it in your graphics folder, and then you'll have all of these right here. So if we just click on Asian, you'll have all the Asian faces as you go. All right, so that's the first pack done. We need now need to get the FM Rock and Rollers first pack in. That will be the third link in the description. Okay, so it's right here. Now you don't need to do both. You can do one, you can do the other. You can do both of them, either one works. But what we're gonna do is download that file, extract it like you would, and then you'll get these folders again. What you need to do is then highlight them all, cut them, head into your Football Manager graphics to where the original pack is, the view from the touchline one that we downloaded first, and in there, press paste in there, and that will then combine all the face packs together. So that is the face packs done for both. So you've got 120,000 faces now on your computer. The next bit, we need to head over to the fourth link, which is this here. Now, this is the new gun manager tool. As you can see, we've had some major changes because of the, the way the new gens in the config file. Basically, the config file is what reads, what combines the game data and the uh, ID number towards the faces that you've got in those folders. For some reason, SI decided to change that this year and made it a little bit more tricky because they changed the prefix on it. However, there's finally been a major change, so this will work just fine. But basically, you want to go down to the bottom. There is a face pack there by the looks of it. So there's a face pack there, so there's another face pack that you could potentially use. So, win, you've, so you've got your Windows and your installer. Okay, so obviously I'm on Windows. Once it's installed, you will get that folder there. Make sure it says V1.40. So that's the old one. That's the new one. Use that there. Extract it and you get this folder. In here, we've got three things. Okay, these two, the views and the filter, you basically need to cut that or copy it either way. Head into your football manager and then just in here, you need to press paste. And then they'll come up and then you'll have your views folder. In particular, you'll make sure that you have those four files in, very important. And then in the filters folder, you will have that filter there. That is the first bit done. Now we need to actually download the software itself. So go back to your downloads, the new gun manager folder that you've just downloaded. Go into dist and then just download it there. Once it's downloaded, you get this. This is the new gun manager. As I said, if you've used the old one in the past, one way just to check you've got the right one is just press about and make sure you've got the new GAN Manager version 1.4. So that is set up. Now we need to do a little bit of work in Football Manager. So head into your game. 
Okay, my, my preference would be to save it as it is because we're going to have to create a new manager for this. It doesn't matter what the manager is because you can either go back to your original loads game, your load save anyway, or, or just retire him from the game. But you need to make him start unemployed. We start him unemployed because then he gets the full search of all the players in the database. Now, we, we only need the new gens for this. This is not a face pack for these ones. This is another video. Once again, I'll leave a link down in the description to get the best face pack for FM23 for your, for FM24. Okay, so the first thing we need to go in to new search. Down here, manage filters. Import filters, and then click on that one, the only one that you've got in there. Press OK. You then need to select it because it doesn't automatically select it. So go back to the cog, is new gen filter, press no, and then press OK. And this will basically bring up the 26,000. I am in season five, coming to season six. Um, all of the regens, oh, he's quite a nice one, in the game. As you can see, the terrible 3D match faces, absolutely shocking. So what we need to do is this. We need to change our view. So go to import view. And then script faces, player search. Press load, and away you go. Now, if you were only wanting to do this for a certain number of staff, uh, you can do staff search for your own players in your squad. Basically, you'll just upload this view wherever you are. So you can do this in your squad view. All right, but this is for everyone, not just my players, but every, every new gen in the game. Once that's up, now this is the tricky bit. This is the bit that can sometimes take three attempts. It can sometimes take 25 attempts. Basically, you need to press Control and A and let go. There you go. It did take a little bit of time. That was the real time of what it did. So I clicked the first one and then press Control and A and let go. It Depending on how good your computer is, how fast it can process, and how long you are in the save will depend on how long it takes to do. Give it a bit. Give it maybe a minute, and then if it hasn't worked, try it again. I was lucky there. It actually worked first attempt. Go me. Right. Once that's done, you're going to press Control p That brings up this little bit of information here. Printer. I used to do that all the time back in the old early CM days, but text file. Press OK. It will then ask you where you want to save it. Now, where you save it is not important. All right? However... I am going to save it in my football manager, basically so I can just keep a track of how many times I've done this and when it needs uploading. So we're in, Ma this is my Malaga save. I'm just going to put March, and I think we're in 2028, I think. All right, so I've got a little bit of a timestamp, so I know when the last time I've actually done it. Press save, okay? Head back out. If you look now in your football manager, so document, sports interactive football manager, there it is. That can be anywhere. That can be in your pictures, your, your folders, your wherever you want to put it. So that's not important. Now, we're going to head into the new GAN manager, all right? And we need to create a profile. So I'm just going to put Malaga, press create. Select profile. Now you've done that, you'll have one there, just like that. Now, this is the select image. So this is the folder that we have created with them 120,000 faces. So we're going to go to documents, sports interactive, FM24, graphics, and then our FM new gens folder. Press OK. And this is the RTF file. So the RTF file is that file that we've just generated in the game. So head to wherever you've put it. Said I put it here in my, just in my football manager folder. Press open. And then this is the interesting bit. So number one, allow duplicates, depending on where you are in the world as well. I always click on allow du duplicates because if you don't, after a while it will stop working when you're out of players is bigger than the pack that you've got. Now, this pack is whopping, but I'm still going to put it on anyway. Allow duplicates to tick that. Now, this is the interesting one. For the first time that you do this, you will press generate. So that will make give everyone new faces. If I then want to come back, say, in a year's time when the new batch of new gens come through, I will do the same process that we've done creating that file, control and A to highlight, control and P, etc. But instead of pressing generate, you will press Preserve. That will keep the original faces and then add in additional new ones who haven't got the faces. Does that make sense? Hope it does. Right. And then once that's done, generate, allow duplicates, just press replace faces. Now, this one didn't used to take much time to do, but every computer is different. And there we go. It's done. Now, if we head over 
to our football manager folder in the graphics, new gens. It's made us a configure file. The date is the 15th. It's quarter past 10 on a Monday morning. There you go. It, that is your configure file. Now, if you open it up, what I was talking about with the changes, as you can see, because this is the new version, it now says person slash R. It used to be just person. So when the file was trying to, so when FM24 was trying to reel the older, sort of like the older Nugan manager tool, it wasn't working because this config file was incorrect. Right, that bit is done. All we need to do now is head to preferences, clear your cache. Down here, have it ticked like that. Press confirm. And then if we head into our game, let's head to our under 19s, who by the way are doing exceptionally well. And there you go. All the regens, all the new gens, whichever one you want to do. They're all in the game, all with their ethnicity as well. Looking absolutely fantastic. How's my wonder kid looking? There he is, Paul. He has got a bald head. In the 3D match engine, he's not got a bald head. If you're wanting to do things and just for your own players and to match them up how you think they look in the game, then check out the other video that I've got linked down in the description. That file, that video is still relevant to FM24. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you to the guys at View from the Touchline and also FM Rock and Roller. Absolutely incredible work to make FM just look so much better. I will leave pinned comments down in the description as well if there's any updates and issues as the year goes on. Any problems, just follow the video. If it doesn't work, you've done something wrong. All right, take care. See you later.